Hello friends, welcome to From My Studio. Today we are going to see how to create multiple shades of green from the blues and yellows of your palette. You would have wondered how in some paintings there are so many varieties of greens. Some are vibrant, some are saturated, some are dull. All these could be created from your limited palette. Let's get started. For this, first we need to create a chart wherein we label all the blues and yellows available from your palette. Then we'll be needing a tissue paper, two brushes, your watercolors and a bowl of fresh water. First we are going to fill in these rows and columns with the actual colors which we have labeled. I have a combination of seven blues and five yellows. For a variety and a twist, I do have the mildest orange all as well in my palette. So I am starting to fill my blues here. I am taking this blue color and I am dapping the brush in water and filling the lower part with only water in my brush so that I get a gradient, a place where the water color is bold and also there is a lighter shade available. In the same way, I am filling all the rows and columns. Next, I am going to show you how I am going to mix these colors. In one brush, we take the first color, which is the ultramarine blue, and the second brush, we are taking the lemon yellow, and we are mixing, putting in the palette. Then, with the brush with yellow paint, I am going to mix the blue color on my palette. Similarly, the brush with the blue paint, I am going to mix the yellow paint on my palette. Always there will be more paint on the brush than on the palette. So whichever color is there on the brush will be a dominant color. So one shade will have more blue and the other shade will have more yellow. See the first color, first shade is having more yellow. And the second shade is having more blue. So with one color combination, you can create two different shades of green. If this method is confusing, you can... Add deliberately add more yellow and to one one combo and more blue to the other combo to get two different shades. In this same technique in or in the same method, I am going to fill rest of all the columns. The cobalt aquamarine is a nice vibrant uh, beach kind of blue. So the greens we get from this cobalt aquamarine mix is always a minty mix. So you are, this is a bright color and uh, uh, it is not too strong or too light. So both the light greens as well as the dark greens we get from this cobalt aquamarine is always bright. And whenever we in, involve orange orange has a bit of a red to it so all these uh, greens we achieve from the orange combo will be earthy colors and uh, you can uh, get all these very nice nude greens from this orange combo this tallow green or tallow blue also is a, a very different color so uh, you can see the difference between the greens when uh, by from using cobalt aqua, aquamarine and tallow This cobalt blue here is a very mild blue. Actually, cobalt blue is a bright shade. But the cobalt blue in my palette is a very weak blue. So, uh, if you see all the greens we get from a more yellow combo is, is a little bright. 
and all the greens we get from a more blue combo is very dull because the cobalt blue is a very light blue in my palette and uh, similarly prussian is a very strong color so all these greens you get is kind of a, a you know a very dark green somewhere iridian green and uh, emerald green so all these uh, bright greens you get from uh, prussian uh, from prussian 1 and prussian 2 uh, with eyesight you may think both are similar colors but when i mixed the greens i could see a difference between the prussian 1 and prussian 2 so to the human eye maybe uh, we cannot feel a difference in blues but we can always uh, see a difference in greens so there we go we have our watercolor all the different shades of greens ready now whenever you want to paint your leaves or choose green combos for your flowers so uh, you can refer this chart and you can uh, mix flawlessly whatever shade you want to use for your watercolors so enjoy watercoloring i'll meet you in another video thank you